Welcome, fellow Awakeners, to 103.3 Live, where we join you with Reindeer Radio, where we will be all month long listening. You can hear us at our YouTube channel as well as on Facebook. This holiday season, we're going to be talking about God and the birth of Jesus. I'm DJ Bouncy Bob, and this is my co-host, DJ B-Rad. Today, we will be talking with you about, wait for it, the Garden of Eden. But first, let's take a time to listen to some new songs we've secured for the show. Here at Reindeer Radio, we will be bringing you new jams all week with some local flair. If you're watching live with us, see if you can spot some of your friends or family members. Sin his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus Savior, Jesus. Son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus saved Jesus saved In my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore. Show 
Okay, and next up on the show, we will have my main man, MC Biblical. Brought to you on part by our sponsor at Awaken Church. We are Dairy Queen, but we have great Sundays. MC Biblical. additions to our radio show but now we're going to talk to our listeners about the garden of eden god created many trees in the garden of eden god said that it was okay to eat from any tree in the garden except one it was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil god said that if you ate from it you would certainly die now there was a sneaky snake in the garden one day the snake talked to eve the snake said did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God and do wrong things. Eve took the fruit and she ate it. She also gave some to her husband, Adam. After they ate the fruit, they knew they had disobeyed God and they tried to hide from him. God called out, where are you? When God found Adam and Eve, he asked them if they had eaten fruit from the tree he said not to eat from. Adam told God that Eve gave him the fruit, so he ate it. Eve told God that the snake tricked her, and she ate the fruit. Do you think God was happy with Adam and Eve for not doing the right thing? I don't think God was happy either, because they disobeyed. God didn't let Adam and Eve live in his special garden anymore, and their friendship with God was broken. But God still loved them. In fact, he loved them so much that he sent his son Jesus to fix their friendship with him. God did this because he loves you and me. That's what we need to know today. Let me hear you say this after me. 
God loves me. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining in today at 103.3 Awaken here at Reindeer Radio. We hope you had a good time listening today. But don't check out just yet because we are going to have some discussion questions and see if you can remember what we talked about today. But before we do that, let's go ahead and close out in prayer. Okay, guys, let's bow your head and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you so much for providing us the joy of the holidays and those reminders of the true meaning of Christmas. We are so thankful that you sent your son here to save us. And I just pray that we continue to remember that throughout the entire month. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody. Talk to you soon. We'll see you next week. Join us next week on Reindeer Radio. <laughs>